Hello and welcome to Bags of Action. My name is Pete and this is a five-minute Bags of Action review of The Accountant from 2016. The Accountant was directed by David O'Connor, who made Warrior, starring Tom Hardy, and it was written by Bill Dubuque, who has gone on to create the TV series Ozark since he made this, and that covers some similar territory. Dubeck was actually a corporate headhunter before starting writing in his 40s, and he's been turning out some excellent work. Ben Affleck is the star here, and he's surrounded by some other top talent. Anna Kendrick, John Lithgow, J.K. Simmons, John Bernthal from Punisher, Walking Dead and Baby Driver, Jeffrey Tambor, Gene Smart from 24 and Legion, and Cynthia Adia Robinson from Arrow and also Columbiana. So here's the premise. As a math savant uncooks the books for a new client, the Treasury Department closes in on his activities and the body count starts to rise. So Affleck plays the math savant Christian Wolf, who is autistic. At first, I wasn't really quite sure what I was watching. There are quite a few flashbacks to Chuck Wolf's childhood and how his military father trained him and his brother. And every 20 minutes or so, things shift in such a way you almost feel like you're watching a different movie and it's quite hard to get grounded. But I actually, as I went on, I started to think that was intentional. At first, I found it very disjointed, as I say, but like most good thrillers, when the seeds they have planted start to bear fruit, it makes that slight discomfort worthwhile as things pay off. This is the kind of film they used to make in the 90s, a well-written action thriller with a very strong cast, like an enemy of the state kind of thing. Both Athlec and Bernthal handled their action scenes well, as you'd expect from some of their other roles. There's some good close-up fights and shootouts in this film, along with some rifle-based assassinations alongside the heavy-duty maths. Having a character with autism can be a difficult watch, as you never know quite how realistic the portrayal is or if it's nuanced enough and how that is being used within a film setting but Affleck shed some of his movie star baggage and by the end I certainly saw Wolf the character and not the actor behind him. The score in this film is difficult and I've wrestled with it for a couple of days. There are two moments I really didn't buy and if you've seen it I imagine you'd know what they are. One which led to a big burst of exposition as you headed into the final act, and one that happened quite near the end. Both of which I didn't quite feel the rest of the film had earned or set up well enough. But then there was a final moment that made me smile and helped pull all the pieces together and gave you that great feeling when when a whole film was paid off. In many ways, this film is far too good for three bags, but then I... I, is it a four bag film? I'm still wrestling with it now. So I'm going to give the accountant a reluctant three bags of action out of five, but they are planning a sequel and I'm definitely looking forward to that. If I was allowed to do half bags, I would. So have you seen the accountant? Do you agree with my assessment of it? Feel free to comment below or get in touch with us via email, Facebook or Twitter. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.